Good afternoon, El Segundo. It's Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. My name is Martha Guzman Hurtado, and I'm the communications manager for the city of El Segundo. We continue to monitor the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the county and city. To date, public health has identified 243,935 positive cases of COVID-19 across all areas of Los Angeles County and a total of 5,878 deaths. El Segundo has had 122 positive cases currently has 12 cases and one death. Our deepest condolences go out to all the families who have lost a loved one. Effective today in Los Angeles County, hair salons and barber shops can reopen immediately at 25% occupancy for indoor services as long as they comply with the safety protocols outlined in the county's health officer order. Options for increasing capacity will be reevaluated three weeks after Labor Day. As a long Labor Day weekend approaches, public health wants to remind you that gatherings with people outside of your household are prohibited. Please also continue to wear your face cover avoid crowds, and do your part to slow the spread of COVID-19. On Friday, Governor Gavin Newsom issued a color-coded tiered system for the state with criteria each county must meet to reopen certain businesses and allow schools to reopen. L.A. County remains in tier one of the plan outlined in purple and deemed as widespread transmission. One key threshold the county needs to meet before moving to tier two is getting the seven-day average of new cases per day down to seven cases per 100,000 cases. Currently, the county is at 10 per 100,000 thousand cases. The numbers are moving in the right direction, but everyone is encouraged to continue to do their part. On September 14th, Los Angeles County will allow schools to offer on-campus services for small groups of K-12 students who need learning support, including children with special needs. Waivers are not required, but schools must, must submit an operational plan to the Department of Public Health and comply with the health officer order. The City of El Segundo's Wearing is Caring campaign will come to an end after Labor Day weekend. The campaign included banners on Main Street and signs posted throughout the city to bring awareness to the importance of wearing a face covering to slow the spread of COVID-19. A team of ambassadors also distributed flyers with free face coverings at various locations. Since the campaign launched in August, ambassadors have distributed 1,300 face coverings. Please remember to continue wearing a face covering because wearing is caring. If the uncertainties of COVID-19 have you feeling stressed, depressed, or anxious, there is help. The City of El Segundo cares about you and your mental health. This month, the City will be sharing a series of videos covering a wide range of mental health topics as part of the Be Kind to Your Mind mental wellness campaign. The goal of the campaign is to provide the community with important resources to help manage depression and anxiety associated with COVID-19. If you need someone to talk to, support is just a phone call or text away. Please reach out to the LA County Crisis Line at 800-854-7771 or text the letters LA to 741-741. The City of El Segundo is moving forward with the formation of a Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. The City hired Jimmy Pete, a diversity consultant with expertise in group facilitation, to review all of the applications based on three criteria. Number one, the level of detail included in the application. Number two, education and training related to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And number three, the applicant's perspective on diversity. Mr. Pete has reviewed all 69 applications and narrowed the list down to 35 candidates that he will be interviewing next week. After the initial round of interviews, Mr. Pete will narrow the list down to 20 candidates for City Council to interview. City Council will then select nine applicants to serve on the DEI committee. The goal is to have the committee selected by October 1st. The El Segundo Skate Park has new back-to-school hours Monday through Friday from noon to 6 p.m., Saturdays from 10 to 6 p.m., and closed on Sundays. The skate park will be limited to six users at a time, and reservations are required. And they also can be made um, by an adult at esrec.org. Hopefully by now you've had the opportunity to experience the expanded outdoor dining op options throughout the city. The city has been working to help restaurants increase their dining capacity and align with the LA County Public Health Order. Staff continues to work with businesses throughout the city to meet outdoor dining requests. The effort started out as a pilot program through Labor Day, but has been extended until further notice. The City Council is currently accepting applications for committees, commissions, and board positions to see a complete 
complete list of the immediate openings and to apply, visit the city's website at elsegundo.org and click on the news item on the homepage. The census deadline is September 30th, which is right around the corner. A complete and accurate count in El Segundo will mean the city receives funding for crucial programs and services over the next decade. El Segundo currently has a 75.7% res response rate. El Segundo, let's get to 100%. You can visit 2020census.gov today and make sure that you're counted. We will continue the live community update on Facebook next Wednesday at 3 p.m. I hope you will join me here live next week. For more information and the latest city-related news, visit the city's website at elsegundo.org or the city's Facebook page. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe and have a great weekend. We'll see you back here next week.